The Godfather of Harlem, Season 3, Episode 8, Homeland or Death. We have uh, Malcolm talking to Bumpy in the diner after watching this news report thing. And basically, uh, he's telling, Bumpy's telling Malcolm not to go to that UN thing with Shea Guevara because he's going to be uh, murdered. They're both going to be murdered. So Malcolm, you know, said that he's not worried that, uh, you know, he's, he does. And then he also, you know, talks to Bumpy and find out that Bumpy and Mamie have a, a situation where she, you know, left him because of what happened to his lawyer, Archie. And uh, he, he said that he appreciates, um, he, he wants to remove the detail, security detail on him. He appreciates Bumpy for taking care of his family and his safety of his family. But he said that he doesn't want to use his security more because they're ex-felons and, you know, uh, you know, he doesn't want to do it. And then also, too, Bumpy also talks to Jose Battle in his club. And Jose Battle uh, basically tells Bumpy, if that's your friend, you need to tell him not to be at that thing at the U.N. with Shea Guevara because they're going to shoot all the, all of them. They're going to be murked. So um, he's talking to his guys and whatnot. And uh, Mamie... Uh, he goes back to try to talk to me, but but prior to he talks to Lisa to try to get you know, Lisa to try to talk Malcolm not to go to the uh, UN thing because there's a plot by uh, the CIA guy Wild Bill that they're gonna be shooting these M20 rocket launchers near the uh, UN to basically. Uh, take down Che Guevara and Malcolm on the third floor. And these things could be shot off at least over uh, at least 900 miles away from the location. So he wants Jose Battles guys to basically drive a fruit truck as a cover and get into position to shoot the, uh, when, when the speech is being taken, you know, being uh, done, then shoot the rocket and then they could basically use the fruit truck as a cover. And they also got like uh, protesters they got as agitators or Asian provocateurs in the crowd as well, too. They showed that aspect as well, also, too. And you also got uh, Joe Colombo talking to Stella about how he could save money on his taxes and whatnot by basically switching out the businesses. Um, and create new businesses. That way, he still keep the money instead of paying taxes. And she was also uh, talking about um, because what happened was Shinjigante's brother, who was a priest, a Catholic priest, Olympia tried to appeal to him, saying that they saying lies about her, this, that, and the third, and uh, trying to get him to go talk to the family. He go talk to the families speaking on Chinchigante's behalf and that you know that Chinchigante doesn't want to do anything with Joe Colombo and he's uh, upset about that and the whole situation with his daughter and he walks out to me you can tell he was nervous and Joe Colombo basically wants to basically off um Stella's uncle she's she tried to tell him no because he's always been there in my corner um let me go talk to him. So she tries to talk to him, appeal to him, and he's not listening to Stella. And Stella warns him that, you know, you're going to be taken down. And then, of course, Joe Colombo's guys try to rough him up and say, you better be glad that Stella is the only reason why you're still living. So you need to reconsider your thought process. So <laughs> then you got also to the, uh, uh, Lillian, her husband was killed last week. Uh, Mamie's staying with her, and she's trying to tell Mamie, you need to get find you a new man. 
that's not a criminal, this, that, and the third. And uh, Bumpy goes to give her flowers, and uh, she's not really feeling that. And uh, she, she tell, he's telling her, could you get some kind of security, uh, some good police officers for security detail for Malcolm since Malcolm looked the, the security from him. And um, she says she'll go try to talk to um, Adam Clayton Powell and his representative. And she goes, they talk to the representative, Adam Clayton Powell. And a lot of the, the New York NYPD, they don't want to do anything. Uh, uh, you know, so basically, you know, everybody's kind of like, you know, don't want to do anything for them. And um, yeah, but as you find the, the plot thickens because uh, Bumpy wants Chance to go and do some kind of reconnaissance to find out what's going on by acting like, you know, he start out, he, he drives to act like he's going to, betray bumpy and he's just basically looking to see what's going on and he see the rockets and stuff and uh he said yeah you a military guy and everything this that and third but we already know that you are a loyal soldier for bumpy and basically uh tells the guy off and he told him that uh if you do anything against malcolm project mongoose is gonna come to the forefront and uh, he said it's bigger than that. Malcolm is the target. He's the big fish. It is what it is. So Bumpy uh, finds out the, the information from Chance that you can, those are the type of things you, you said back in now, they used to use those type of rocket launchers and they use fruit truck as a cover and they're using the same play. And he already knew the play was going on. So, uh, Basically, Bumpy goes to Malcolm and basically tells him that you're not going to the UN meeting. Malcolm said, I'm going to the UN meeting. He said, no, you're not. And he pulls a, you going to pull a gun out on me? He said, yes, if I have to. And Malcolm was very upset. And they watch it at his house. And uh, Chance at the same time and Pettigrew are going there to basically take down the, the guys that's supposed to be Ho, Jose's battles guys that's supposed to be shooting a rocket at the UN while Shea Guevara speaking. Um, they able to get close to it and then shoot the uh, shoot the, the uh, rifle at them. And the missile thing went a different direction and blew up in the water still hitting the building. And Malcolm said, well, so much for all that, but he didn't know that it was already taken care of. It was he Bumpy saved his life, and he told Bumpy that he didn't want him around no more, and to leave him. And Bumpy said, "That's the way you want it. You can have it that way." And it goes off. It's sad. We know that Malcolm this season is going to be. It's supposed to be the last season. I think is going to be murdered and assassinated at the Autobahn Ballroom. So that's going to be it for this one, everybody. Take care and have a nice day.